In this morning's Health Watch, some very disturbing news on diet soda. Americans consume more than 4 billion gallons of it every year. Now, a new study of people who drank diet soda every day reports that they had a 48% higher risk of heart attacks and strokes. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with that story for us this morning. I mean, this, we've always known soda is not great for you, but this is really an eye-opening report on diet soda. Exactly, Chris. And the question here, as you said, is not whether soda is good for you. It's whether it can actually be bad for you and how bad and this study really showed it they looked at a, a little over 2500 people average 69 years of age followed them for nine years and asked them questions based to, to report their own soda consumption found that those who drank soda daily even one a day yeah. were at this significantly increased risk 48 percent increased risk for what we call vascular events so heart attack and stroke that was the thing that surprised me it was just one diet soda it wasn't like they were having a six-pack every day exactly so wherein lies the link now between heart attack and stroke and diet soda? Well, that's the question, and they don't know. This study was done on association, so it did not show cause and effect. But there are some theories out there. So if you're drinking something that has no calories, are you lulled into a false sense of security and thinking that then you can have that fatty food or those extra calories somewhere else? And does it stack the deck against you in terms of all of those other risk factors? The general rule of thought has always been, for me at least, if it's not regular soda and it's diet soda, Half the battle's won right there, but that's not the case. Absolutely incorrect. And we have to remember, our bodies are roughly 60% water. They're not 60% soda yes. or diet soda. So again, we say in moderation, probably fine, but moderation is a couple of times a week, yeah. not once a day. Well, I was going to say moderation. How much more moderate can you get than one a day? What about some of the other health risks that are associated with diet soda? Well, we heard recently also that people who drink diet soda are at an increased risk for something called metabolic syndrome. So that's a combination, again, of risk factors factors of obesity, high cholesterol, um, and high blood pressure that then, of course, put you also at risk for heart attack and stroke. And also, interestingly enough, women who consume diet soda are found to be at increased risk for kidney failure and kidney disease. So again, once in a while, okay, but as a regular part of your beverage intake, really not a good idea. Let's talk about people who drink diet soda for weight loss reasons, thinking that, okay, the empty calories with regular soda, we've eliminated those, we move to the diet. Well, one of the theories is that when you drink a sweet beverage, even if it doesn't contain any calories, that it actually starts you craving other sweet things. And if you're not getting those calories in the form of that beverage, you're gonna look for it elsewhere. I think very simple things that people can do on a day-to-day -day basis, try not to drink your calories. You've heard me say yeah. that before, Chris, but go for more natural, healthy alternatives. So don't go for the diet. So things like water, mm -hmm. seltzer, where you can put a little bit of fruit into it if you want that extra flavor, or unsweetened teas, there really are a much, much healthier alternative when you're talking about your beverages. Because that's been my biggest problem. I, I will admit, I, I cop to three diet sodas a day minimum. I know, you need to go on the wagon a little bit with that, yeah, Chris, it's just, really. It's tough because if your diet's bland, you want something there, and I guess... And also, the important thing to realize is if you're drinking that diet soda or that soda, and again, we're really going to lump them into the same category for all intents and purposes, what are you not drinking? You're not drinking water, you're not drinking milk. That's really what your body needs. And this is something people really need to pay attention to. Yep. Dr. Ashton, thank you. You bet.